So here we're going to review a TAF and this example, and we're going to go through it step by step. We're going to have the explanation below. And this TAF is for KPIR, for Pierre South Dakota Airport. So it begins on the 11th day of the month at 1130 Zulu time. That's valid for 24 hours because we can see it's valid from 1200 Zulu on the 11th to 1200 Zulu on the 12th when from 160 degrees at 15 knots gusting to 25 visibility greater than six statute miles scattered clouds at 4,000 feet broken clouds at 25,000 feet now from 0 hundred Zulu on the 12th winds from 140 degrees at 12 knots visibility greater than six statute miles broken clouds at 8,000 feet overcast at 15,000 feet now between this is where it gets a little tricky again we're jumping this probability between 0 hundred Zulu and 400 Zulu there's a 30 percent probability the visibility will be three statute miles thunderstorms and rain broken at 3,000 feet with cumulonimbus clouds and then from 400 Zulu on the 12th winds from 140 degrees blowing from 140 degrees at eight knots visibility greater than six statute miles scattered clouds at 4,000 feet overcast at 8,000 feet and then we have a tempo a temporarily between 400 Zulu and 800 Zulu on the 12th still visibility three statute miles thunderstorms with rain showers and clouds overcast at 3,000 feet with cumulonimbus clouds and the equal sign at the end of the report just means that's the end of the report. Oh, 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 oh,